is uh, 6.09 p.m. on March 17th, 2021. And I'd like to call this meeting of the International Friendship Commission to order. In the interest of public health and safety and the pursuant to the governor's executive order N 2920, members of the International Friendship Commission and staff are participating in this meeting by teleconference. And accordingly, with the executive order, the public may view this meeting online but not in the Chula Vista Public Library. The city launched virtual commenting portal, e-comment, that allows residents to comment and participate in the meeting from their own homes. You can find the link to e-comment at www.chulavista.gov forward slash virtual meetings. Your comments must be received before I call for the close of the commenting period in order to be considered. After the team period is closed, I will announce a brief pause to allow the commissioners time to read any comments that have been received. If you have any difficulty or need assistance with e-comment during the meeting, please call 619-476-5340 and the library staff will assist you. With the second, second would the secretary please call the roll? All right, uh, so I'm going to go through the list here. Uh, so, Commissioner Akana? Here. All right. Uh, Commissioner Andrade wrote and let me know he's not going to be able to make it. Uh, Commissioner Duran? Here. All right. Uh, Commissioner Fimbres? Uh, I know that Chair Gallardo is not able to make it this evening. Uh, Commissioner McCabe? I think I think I can unmute you here. Let's see. There we go. Okay, you should be good. Here. Here. Okay. All right. Uh, Commissioner Moore. Present. Commissioner Munoz Andrade. Present. And Vice Chair Moroka. Present. All right. The the public comments is the section of, on the agenda uh, for members of the public to address the board on items that are not listed on the agenda. I will now call for a two minute pause to allow the public to submit any final public comments. Commissioners, as a reminder, please refresh the view on your screen to ensure new comments appear. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start the timer. Do you share a screen on that one? Yeah, it's it's unfortunately it's get to give me an error on the, the timer. So uh, we'll give it another shot here. Let's see. There we go. Hello. Are you able to hear me now? Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and share it. It was giving me an error, but I, I restarted it. Well, it's not it's not counting down, so we'll go ahead and uh, just have to use. I'm not sure why the uh, it's not working, but we'll we'll go ahead and count down two minutes on the uh, using a, a stopwatch here. I'll try to see what's going on with this.
Okay, so we're at two minutes. Um, I apologize that the the slide's not working. So what I'll do is I'll just put up the slide uh, from now on, but I'll just manually time it um, since it's telling me that the plugin's not working. So it must be some issue with this computer. Okay, um, so the commenting period for the public comments is now closed. Have the commissioners uh, have the commissioners had enough time to read the submitted comments? If yes. Uh, Bill, would you uh, please announce the, uh, for the record the number of comments received? Uh, no comments received via e-comment or email. Okay, so for the uh, first item on the agenda is the approval of the February 17th, 2021 minutes. Uh, do the commissioners have any clarifying questions for staff before we go to public uh, public comments? Okay, now, I will now call for a 2 minute pause to allow the public to submit any final comments on the items before uh, commission deliberate uh, commission deliberation commissioners as a, a reminder, please refresh the view under screen to ensure new comments appear. So, we'll start the next 2 minutes. Once again, I apologize since the uh, the timer is not working, so I'm just going to do it manually and then at 2 minutes, I'll, I'll let us know, but the uh, information actually, I'll put up the other 1 that has my. Um, my email address, sorry. Okay, so I'm starting the timer now. Thank you. 
We are at two minutes. All right, uh, the commenting period for this item is now closed. Have the commissioners had enough time to read the submitted comments? Uh, Commissioner, uh, Secretary, can you, would you please announce for the record the number of comments received in favor and opposed to the item? Uh, no comments received via email or e comments. Okay. Uh, do any commissioners have any comments or questions? After any deliberation, um, well, okay. Uh, the, the next item on the agenda is item number two. Or, or before we go into that, um, I think do we want to make a motion to approve the minutes? Minutes, sorry, sorry about that. Um, after any del um, so can we have a. I move that we approve the minutes. All right. I, can I get I a second? second I second that. Okay, so, so with that, uh, Commissioner Durana moved and uh, Commissioner Moore seconded? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, can uh, Bill, can you do a uh, conduct a roll call vote, please? Yes. Uh, so, Commissioner Akana? Present. Um, do you uh, yeah. approve the, um, or yes or no to the approval of the oh, minutes? sorry, the falling <laughs> <laughs> I. Right. Uh, There's so many breaks here. <laughs> Commissioner, <laughs> here. Uh, Commissioner Duran? I. Uh, Commissioner Fimbres not here. Uh, Commissioner, or Chair Gallardo not here. Uh, Commissioner McCabe? Let me get. Oh, okay. Okay, audio, audio. Let me get unmuted. Oh, okay. Aye. All right. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Moore. Aye. All right, uh, Commissioner Munoz Andrade. Aye. And Vice Chair Moraoka. Aye. All right. Thank you. All right, um, next item on the agenda is item number two. Uh, the discussion of commissioner's proposal for changes to youth exchange program with Odawada. Um, uh, the staff is a recommendation. The commission um, just is to discuss proposals to identify possible changes to the program and provide direction to staff as necessary. So has everybody had a chance? Uh, does, uh, does staff have a presentation? I don't have any presentation for this. Okay. So, um, Bill had had uh, uh, gathered up all the information on uh, the paper or the the packet that he had sent out on Thursday, Wednesday night, or Thursday of last week, and he uh, he uh, he gathered everybody's comments or everybody who submitted comments for um, the the changes in our program. So did uh, maybe we should go over each one of these as we um, go down. Um, has everybody had a chance to read each of the um, the youth the changes to the youth exchange program? Yeah. Okay. Um, is, there, is there any way um, Bill could share that on the screen? If, if possible, if not all. Yeah, all I, I, I should be able to do it here. Um, just just a moment and I'll uh, I'll do that. I apologize if I look like I'm moving between two things. I actually have two screens going on since I'm doing both the um, secretarial and the staff uh, duties here. So thanks for being patient. You're doing a great job. All right, so that's what I like to hear. All right, <clears throat> take me just a moment to get it up here. Well, um, Bill gets that up onto the screen. Um, Commissioner Duran, did you want to kind of uh, we'll 
go over your proposal? Um, yes. So, um, what, what was in the attachment that Bill sent out is as much as I've expanded on it, it's still, you know, in the early stages of how I would want it to look in my mind. My, I wanted to have the feel of like a professional conference, you know, where like people from the same industry all travel to the same city and they, there's talks that they go to, you know, they're interested in learning about education. Uh, they go to the education talk at 10 a.m. If they're interested to talk about trade, they go to the 11 o'clock trade um, conference and so forth. So something along those lines where we, instead of sending people out to um, our sister cities, we would invite all three sister cities to come to us. Um, uh, that way we could you know, accommodate hotel discounts, the group rates for uh, flights, and spend our $4,000 that we have on giving them some sort of travel allowance. Um, when we have, you know, the delegates here, we all take one day where, yeah, you know, like my day was the, taking them to the ballpark and somebody else's day, I think, uh, by Sir Morocco, you hosted them at, uh, Morocco Elementary, and like we all have one thing that we do like that. We could continue to do that where we each host different activities for one day, uh, and then have it end the week with with an event. Um, so I thought of Harbor Fest just because it's a Shula Vista one. Um, you know, at something along those lines. Uh, like I said, you know, it's it's still in the gestation period in my mind. This is as far as I've ironed out the details. Pretty good idea. So all three sisters cities would, would come at the same time. Right. I would that my proposal would be, yeah, to have one week where we host as many representatives as they want to send from all three of them. And not limited to any age, right? Like if young and old are welcome. And so uh, okay, it would be any, um, it would go across the board. Uh, or um, what, what category, um, do you have any ideas of what categories you might want to do? For, uh, for <laughs> so I, When we went to Irapuato a couple of years ago, uh, we had a whole delegation, uh, right? Like, and most of them were interested in like uh, business activities. We had a man who was interested in setting up retirement homes for Americans in Mexico. We had um, a couple people that were there to see like if they could import shoes, you know, trade stuff that. I like for the, the the retirement home is a good example, right? Like I would have never come up with that as a way to pitch someone like, hey, this is something you might want to look into, but it organically came about like he got invited and it popped into his mind. So I, I think we, we have someone maybe like in the economic development department at Chula Vista talk about how the city supports economic development. Um, maybe a representative from one of our community colleges talk about like courses are open to the I want to say foreign students but I know that's not the correct word but students you guys know what I mean like if somebody from one of our sister cities wanted to come and take a class like what programs there are for that um Mostly, I think that's what would get interest, right? It would be stuff centered around education or stuff centered around um, trade and business opportunities between uh, our residents here and the residents from our sister cities. Okay. So, so Miguel, are you suggesting the uh, you, you take off the label as being a youth program and it's for uh, all of uh, Interested parties? Yes. I I don't think we 
should limit ourselves to, to, to just having it be for the youths. Oh, it's very interesting. Because, like, think about it. If they did this, if, like, Irapuato or Odawara started something, like, exactly like this, we we would probably ha get a couple of um, youth um, resumes and interview them to send them out. But if it was all of us, like, I would be super interested in going. And I... I assume that, you know, everybody on this commission would be, and I know people that would be too, like outside of this commission, um, especially, you know, after COVID when people are dying to get on planes and travel again, I, I think it's a good way to get people, uh, it, it, like expand our universe of who can participate in our program. Uh -huh. uh, like just it. can we, um, can Bill clarify that we could use the $4,000 for a conference like this? Or was it just restricted to travel, like airline tickets? Because I like your idea, uh, Commissioner Duran. So I I think so right now we couldn't if we were to hold one in this fiscal year. So from now until June, but uh, if, if we settle on something like this before they take the budget for approval, if, if we even have a budget of four thousand next year, right? But if we did, we like we could ask for whatever we wanted to spend it on, and then they approve. And and we could have it be vague. I think in the past we've said that we're going to use it for stipends for our ambassadors that we sent to our sister cities. Um, so I like we could work with the financial management or whoever puts together the city's budget to make sure that it's the description allows us to use it for what we want. And every year would be the same. Like if, if we were to miss the deadline, like if we didn't settle on something this year, then, you know, next year during budget season, we would, we, could, we would have another bite at the apple to do it. Then Bill, can you clarify how much is in the budget now? Um, in terms of what the, there's, I think there's two different funds. There, so there's the one that's about $2,000 that was from the fundraising. And then there is, was it in the minutes from last month? Because we never touched the four thousand dollars from last year. Yeah, and it's, I'd have to I'd have to research it and get back to you. And then in terms of what the money could be spent on, I'd I'd have to reach out to our um, finance office to just see if there's any stipulations. But I know you know the like the money that we did for the fund we I wasn't here then, but you know for the fundraising, um, we heard back from our finance office that that's pretty much could be used for anything. But um, the other funds that come from the city, I would just like to clarify because I, I don't want to give an answer and say it can be used this way and find out that it can't. So, um, so I can I can definitely look into that and it, it might be something um, once we have a better idea of what we're doing to um, have a little more of a, a directed ask than just kind of asking in general, but I, I can do both as well. Sure. All right. Any more questions for. Um, Commissioner Duran? No, I, I just think it's an excellent idea. Thank you, Commissioner Duran. Thank you. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, there's um, Commissioner uh, Fembris is, is, isn't here today. So um, we could just uh, kind of go and uh, read that. Um, was there anything that we wanted to discuss on? on this proposal? What, what, what I was kind of curious about was that, um, because if it's an academic course, it would be for one semester, it would be um, staying here for um, at least what, four or five months. And so it would um, have to, they, they do have programs already through the colleges for that, but um, um, how it, uh, how we would connect everybody is uh, would be a little bit um, interesting. So it'd be nice if you uh, if you could elaborate it on it maybe on the next time we see them. This this seems like it would also require some sort of student visa, um, right? To I think you can have internships or, or jobs even on student visas, but that's so. Uh, you know, and, and and looking at this this um, 
proposal. Maybe there, there, there already is, maybe um, Southwestern already has um, some ties already, and maybe we could just uh, expand upon their ties already with other, they may not be with Odawada though, but um, I guess we could open it up and see if there's uh, Odawada, um, open the door for Odawada students. But um, was there any other questions for uh, Commissioner uh, Fembris? Because uh, um, we could write them down and we could send them to him if, um, if and then uh, he could maybe have uh, pre uh, prepare for answers for our, our next meeting. All right, um, so the, um, the next proposal is from um, Commissioner McCabe. Um, can you, uh, did you want to present your proposal? Or did you want to talk about your proposal or? Uh, you got to unmute yourself. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yep, I've unmuted yeah. you. Should be good to go. Okay, I'm at, I'm muted now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, my proposal is to start a professional exchange between the uh, between the between us and each of the uh, sister cities. I mean, rather than at the student level, this would be at the level of experienced professionals, accomplished professionals, like we could. Um, match uh, attorneys with attorneys, uh, engineers with engineers, medical with the medical profession. And um, I just got the idea from Commissioner Duran's uh, proposal that we could maybe we could have all three cities at one time instead of having it separately with each one. We could have a, a, a single gathering with representatives from all of the cities who are interested in, in showing up and we would send an invitation out to each city and we I guess we decided which which uh, profession should be represented and then they would find volunteers who would be interested in it and then we would do the same we would have a selection process for volunteers to participate so um, and then um, we could have once the we have the professionals here uh, we could have a public forum where there could be a discussion with the public, members of the public could ask questions, there could be presentations, and uh, we have a, a welcoming and a well event, so that would be my focus on professions, and they could give us, give us um, an insight into what kind of professional challenges and conditions that they have over in their countries and their cities, and they would share it with our representatives. Yeah, uh, is there any questions for uh, Commissioner McCabe? So, uh, would your your program uh, suggestion is this to kind of maybe um, be real similar to uh, Commissioner Duran's and have it a week long program? Oh, uh, what type of program? Uh, a week long program. Or, yeah, that would be. I think a week long. A week long would be the appropriate length. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Um, no. Any other, any other questions for Commissioner McCabe? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, um, can we? Pardon me? Yeah, I thought we could add visits to different places in the city, such as the Olympic Training Center or different place, points of interest around the San Diego area as part of the program too for our visitors. Kind of like what we do now with the students. Yes, yes, um, having a nice hospitality would be um, also nice. Okay. Um, okay. Can we? Uh, I think was was uh, Commissioner Morse is the next one. 
Well, I, I don't necessarily have a proposal as I, I was kind of trying to dig in to understand the, the, you know, the motivations and the background of, and the feeling that the program, as I put it, was a little tired. Um, again, I don't, I, I don't understand completely. I have experience with what the programs have been, but so I was just putting it in framing my comments in, in two ways. Uh, one that perhaps while the program is, is, is sponsored, initiated in Chula Vista, I think some of the activities should be on a more regional basis. Uh, I mean, I, this is my town, I lived here, grew up here, I get it, but to uh, have the kids, if this is just gonna stay children, and maybe not even if adults, it might be more so, uh, that the activities need to uh, take it more encompassing in terms of the of a regional aspect for one, and two, to what I'm not again I'm not familiar with what actually the activities that were occurring with under these youth exchange program, but it needs to be more uh, uh, you know more of of a a, 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 a you know an activity that the experience factor associated with what they're doing or to coming that it stands out and is of more interest to either the youth or even a, a older, a, an older group. Uh, so that's kind of where my, my two aspects were, is trying to understand, well, three, trying to understand what is kind of behind their uh, desire to, you know, you know, upgrade this thing and, and refresh it, if you will. And then I, and if we do that, I think it needs to be more regional and it needs to be more of a, uh, a, a real experience base. So you have a strong takeaway from the uh, activities and our, of what they experience in, in, as part of this uh, activity. May I address that? Sure, of course, please do. So the restriction um, for keeping it in Chula Vista was requested by uh, the city of Odawara. So we just followed the request. And for activities, I think one of the main activities that their, their ambassadors come here and we go there is to do a community uh, service. So typically when they come here, they, they volunteer at a school and for a day and help out with the teacher. And over there, the same thing. They go to an elementary school in Odawara and volunteer. So they do do community service work. And I think they oh, wanted, good. originally, they wanted this to be a personal one-to-one -one where they requested that they spend one meal a day with the family they live with, just so, so that they could get to know them on a personal level, not just something you could read on the internet. So that's just the background of it, but that could always change. So, uh, uh... Mr. Connor, that's kind of, and you'll you see my comment later about the sister city relationships. I, I, how long ago do you think that kind of like scope uh, was established for this activity with with Odawara? Uh, I have, I, I have, I have no context. idea. I mean, is, is it going back years and years, and is it time for a refresh? And and so is that is is that maybe the reason? Is is that it's it's kind of like not keeping up with the times, if you will as to what's going to interest the, the youth of today. I, I don't know if they're trying to, uh, that could be incorporated, but the, the idea behind the program was to get to know the culture on a, on a personal level. Hmm. I, I, I guess I did, uh, I, I guess I wish I understood a little bit more of what their, you know, I, I, what their motivation, I mean, what's, what's, the genesis of this to say, to assert that this thing is kind of like, well, we're, you know, we're not really that interested anymore, and why? And there's, and I, 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 we we don't know that premise. How are we going to really kind of suggest an upgrade? So, um, so Bill, did you receive any um, e um, any comments from Otawada? Um Was it were you able to? Ask if there was any um, any re reasoning or any suggestions of what, what direction they wanted to go in Otawara. 
I haven't received any comments, but I can I can reach out and uh, ask about that and report back at the next meeting. Okay. Uh, um, I mean, for uh, so uh, so are we shooting uh, in the dark. Go ahead. I'm sorry, but are we shooting in the dark a little bit? Coming up with some of these ideas without some a little bit of direction uh, from from them. Uh, I mean, I, we come up with some ideas, we compose some ideas. But without some kind of idea and direction of what they're thinking, isn't it, isn't it kind of difficult for us to do that? Well, uh, communications to me uh, between the two cities um, takes a long time. So I would sure. um, maybe condense some of these ideas into uh, you know and send them over some of our ideas over to them and see what direction they're interested in, perhaps. Hmm. And, and makes, then. And then, um, you know, if they have a counter or if they have suggestions, we would uh, we would open the dialogue for that as well. I mean, that that's what I would do because you know these are, are are nice ideas, and you know they know their city, you know how much interest they could generate, um, what it what is uh, what is feasible, um, but um, on your questions about the um, uh, the state, uh, how the the program was has been going, I, I haven't been part of this. Of the, of the overall program for a long time uh, for for very long, but um, you know the the being able to stay at somebody's house, I think, really offers uh, a great opportunity to really um, dig in and to find out how uh, people how a culture really is, um, how how a lot of programs, a lot of student programs, or even you know when when whenever um, I visit a city, or I'm sure when you guys visit a city, if you're just visiting there and uh, you don't necessarily have um, have the idea of of how their how their city or their culture runs, and um, because uh, you're going to all the tourist areas. But um, how I think this this uh, uh, relationship with Odawara gave the opportunity for students or the um, students or uh, the, the 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 young adults to experience um, what it is to to live in in Japan. Um, when I I had gone to China with um, my uh, my son's high school group, and uh, they have a sister school over there, and they were able to um, they hosted a dinner for us at at everybody's houses. So at, so we divided up our whole group to um, to host families, and it was just a dinner. But being in somebody's house made such a big difference, and and opened up the eyes to uh, so many of the students because they didn't realize how they lived or where they lived, and all you know, all these different factors, and you know, the communications. It, it just opens up a whole new door than just being uh, a tourist at a, at a location. So anywhere that we can communicate, I think that's really important uh, to what our program kind of stands for. Um, to have this friendship or to open these doors to opportunities that don't necessarily uh, exist for the regular person. And, and it's, I, not, I it's not a two week program, actually, it's a month long. And I think that's a huge commitment for these people. So they are together 24 hours a day for a whole month. Well, maybe that needs to be shortened. <laughs> it's two weeks in one country and then they fly back together two weeks in the other country. So by the end, 24 oh, hours oh, oh. a day, it's exhausting, but they all say they it was worth it. 100%. Wow. You know, uh, well, but uh, Ken, I completely agree with you. that Those experiences, and I've, I've had the opportunities to do such a thing as well. I was just saying in the context that, well, that's all well and good at night, spend the night, so on, and family and stuff. but. In, in terms of actually doing things during the day to to broaden the activities to a more regional basis, because you know San Diego's got some some great things to to do and see that can create some wonderful experiences for these for these youth or young adults. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, but I, we could go through San Diego County, right, uh, Commissioner Akana? We just can't, we just can't. Uh, there's the that's San Diego County. You can't go south to oh, okay. um, to Mexico, and they can't go north to Orange County. They have to stay within the county borders. Yeah. So and that's I, why we have. And, and we do do some of these things that 
Commissioner Moore suggested, like you know, baseball games and such. But I think more his point is we should market it as, you know, yeah. Right? Come to San Diego. We have all these awesome th- we probably shouldn't say come to San Diego, but come to Chula Vista. We're so close to all these awesome San Diego things. Yeah, yeah, they go to yeah. they go to SeaWorld, the zoo, but that's based on if the commissioner during that year could get the tickets. So it's it's up yeah. to us. It's hard some years. Yeah. Well, in, in the past, you know, they, they've had the opportunity to go to the zoo and they've got uh, an opportunity to do these other things. But it's the, uh, the ambassadors from Chula Vista that have decided sometimes not to go to those places because Sometimes they have the, uh, to me, a little bit narrow view on uh, I think uh, on what a zoo is. I think for for us, we're spoiled in in San Diego uh, in, in Chula Vista that we have a zoo, a San Diego Zoo, which is a great zoo. But somebody from another, uh, I've been to the Honolulu Zoo, and that's just like a little hole in the wall. So if I was in from Hawaii, uh, uh, from Honolulu, I'd be like, wow, this is a fabulous zoo. So I, I don't know why they skipped it on the last last trip but uh i i think their 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 view is being in san diego is just a little bit different so in, in many different things and different aspects but a lot of the, the activities are are held by the of, of course these uh, ambassadors that are are, are going around okay. makes sense. I, makes sense. yeah so you know i i would i would i we could open it up to um san diego definitely um but we would have to all the all our ambassadors would have to be from Chula Vista, though. Sure. Yes. So, sure. Um, I, I guess one of the uh, uh, um, uh, one of the, the the disappointing things in the past couple of years is that we uh, didn't have an, an over a, a lot of um, applications. I, in the last one, I think we only had like five applications, and one I, of them. I don't was, know how it's marketed. I don't know how people market this program besides putting it on our website in Chula Vista. I'll start yes. like more to the point is how they market it in Ordawara, right? Yeah. Is that if they just say exchange with Chula Vista, like as much as we all love our city, it probably doesn't have the global name recognition that Diego would have. Sure. You know, one of the, I think one of the things uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Commissioner Arcana, but um, I believe when our our ambassadors go over to Ottawa, um, their county or their area is so large that it encompasses also Tokyo and and Yokohama. Is that correct? I know they do uh, go to Tokyo, but every year they haven't. But sometimes they do as a group. They take the yeah. the bullet train. Uh huh. So as opposed to, I know that uh, some of the delegates, some of the um, ambassadors here have wanted to take their, um, the, um, their, the people that they're hosting up to Disneyland, but they didn't have that opportunity. So, because it's not in San Diego County, but um, okay. Um, any other questions for Commissioner Moore? But uh, we definitely need to have a, a a, a revamp and to revisit it. I mean, that's what what Odawada is asking for, and and it would be good to find out what they're they're thinking as well. Um, so, um, if we could, it, it, maybe if we send out our suggestions or our ideas, then um, we could get some feedback from them and get a better idea of what direction. So, I would think at this point that there's no idea that's a bad idea. So, right. All right, so uh, my, mine is uh, my my suggestions are um, at uh, a couple of different levels. So uh, mine, um, I, I like the idea of of schools. Um, you, know, you have a cap, uh, an, an audience. Um, I'd like to have um, maybe three, uh, maybe four schools. Uh, I would probably just shoot for three schools. Heading Camp already has a sister school in Japan, um, and I would be looking for maybe a couple of other schools. And they would, um, and I would try to keep it simple. Um, you know, try to work it into their their programs. I don't know if it would be from kindergarten all the way through, but it would be something that at, at different grade levels, perhaps they could share um, with the other with, with a, a counterpart in in Japan. And it would be sending letters, you know, three times a year. First one would be introduction, 
Second one would be, uh, you know, uh, something, you know, how are the school years going? And then the, the, the final, the, the last one would be, um, you know, at the end of the school year and how everything would combine. And then I would also share a, um, a holiday, something that they could share and they could um, be enthusiastic about, or they could, they could um, learn a little bit of culture. Just something uh, on, uh, along those lines for the elementary level, for the high school level. Um, I would probably, uh, I, I, it would be good if we had, uh, if there was Japanese classes, and I think they're over at some of the schools. I think East Lake has one and Hilltop has it, but um, uh, in, um, if we could have a counterpart in, in Japan and, and do um, something a little bit different, um, I, I think maybe the, uh, I was thinking of more of an active exchange. So you'd exchange like, uh, I, I, I just threw out there like a candy bar exchange, a t-shirt exchange. So you're you're sharing these boxes of things and sending them back and forth. And it's almost kind of like a, um, you, you would share something that it would have culture. You wouldn't just send a white t-shirt over there. You'd send something that is popular in, in, in the United States or popular in Chula Vista. Um, same thing with the exchange with, you know, all these other different types of exchange and just kind of, um, try to create an interest in, in that level, because I don't, I don't, I can't speak for a lot of teenagers because I don't know what exactly they're interested in, but, you know, uh, if there's some kind of commonality, maybe they could find it in these kinds of exchanges. Um, so, um, and then, um, the, go ahead. Oh, right, I thought that was a good idea. Okay, and then the, the final one would be a friendship through the libraries. Uh, we have uh, we have li we have uh, several libraries, a couple of couple of, we have several libraries in Chula Vista. But if they're able to um, share some space inside there, and we could have an area for our sister cities inside there, um, maybe we could do an art exchange and have exchanging of art from uh, from each of the cities. Uh, it doesn't. It wouldn't necessarily have to be. Professional art, it could be amateur hobbyists, it could be high school artists or even elementary school artists, but it'd be something that, uh, you know, we could have a program here in which you know, they, uh, the kids or even, you know, local local artists, they submit something and uh, we have a, a program in which they're recognized by the, the mayor and we're able to send or um, we'll have a group that would pick out the selections that would go over to Japan, we'd send them over to Japan. Um, they would send uh, uh, send it to Japan, send it over to to uh, Cebu, uh, and send it over to um, and the, the other uh, escapes me, but um, all three sister cities. And uh, uh, so then uh, then we would have some kind of uh, connection through art <laughs> there. Um, sorry, uh, and then also um, I, I had put down there maybe we could co connect since we're not having a, a lot of communications with a lot of the uh, um, some of the, uh, some of the other uh, sister cities. Maybe we could talk to their uh, tourist groups and try to try to create interest in that that level. It may not be at a governmental, but it would be something that at least we're creating um, some kind of connection, and it, we'll see if we could reconnect overall. But um, just a, a couple of ideas. Is there any questions? What that your friendship through the library? Uh, and that kind of sounds like it's outside the scope of this exchange program, but it's kind of a good idea. What you're saying is you're trying to create some kind of a of a uh, 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 what, display or uh, a, within our libraries, like for this exchange of artwork or hobbies or things Otawara, things Cebu, th things Irapuato versus versus Chula Vista. Is that what you're suggesting? Yes, yes, they have an area and then um, maybe a, a little section in each one and we would have three, um, three sections that we would display art or culture from each of those those um, cities. And so therefore we would be able to, you know, uh, let people know that we have sister cities that go to the library and then we'd also be able to share some of their culture, share, share some of their ideas. Neat idea. Okay. Hmm. All right, um, any other questions? I also wanted to, to say that I like your idea, uh, Vice Chair Moroga. Um, and I, I think, um, is Lynette still in the arts or culture uh, department in Chula Vista, Bill, do you know? Uh, no, and I, I think actually, um, so Erwin Magbonwa is, is uh, the staff liaison for the Cultural Arts Commission. 
Um, so, th I mean, this definitely sounds like something that would be a good, um, you know, way to uh, work with them. And, you know, at our libraries, we definitely do have space for, um, you know, art and museum displays. Um, there, our Civic Center branch has a museum space and the South branch will soon have a museum space. So, um, I mean, there's definitely, there's, there's a lot of opportunities for art and other, um, you know, ways to kind of share culture and, and put it on display. Um, yeah, so that's a neat idea. I, I, I really think that the Arts Commission would be super in favor of it because all our local artists would, um, you know, would have their work um, displayed in at least one of our sister cities, right? Which is a great boon for a local artist to say that they've been displayed in Japan or Mexico or Philippines. Uh, that's cool. If that would that would be really uh, really neat. Um, any other ideas out there? Did anybody else want to? Uh, even though it's not written, did they, anybody else want to make a um, present anything? So maybe we could um, um, work through these a little bit and then send them over to Odawada. Uh, um, any suggestions on how we could do that? What what I was going to suggest is um, maybe give everyone a little bit of time to think about this and maybe kind of re resubmit ideas based on the um, conversation tonight. And in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll reach out to uh, Ms. Suzuki and Odawara and, and see what information I can get from there. And then at the uh, next meeting, maybe I could present that and then that could lead to discussion. Um, but I think. You know, giving people, I mean, there's so many wonderful ideas presented tonight. I think giving people time to think about it and maybe kind of um, do something. I mean, if everyone's in agreement with them, do something similar to what we did this month where everyone sent their uh, information to me. I put it together and I put it into the agenda packet. Um, Bill, did you share or are we planning to share any of these um, proposals with the mayor's office? I know she's been super supportive of us in the past, and I just, I, if she has any input or she might have an idea, like I, I think I, it'd be interesting to consider. Sure, I can I can do that as well. I'll, I'll send I'll send these over and um, ask for any input from there. Thanks. That'd be yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you. Okay, what are the things um, that uh, I, I've I've talked to other other um, groups and like the Japan Society of San Diego. Um, they they've su supported a ground roots. It wasn't necessarily their group, but uh, but they would uh, do host families, and so um, host a, a whole family would go over to another um, like would be you would have an exchange, and so you'd exchange a family going over to um, to J Japan, and it, it would be similar, but it would be instead of just um, students uh, as, as Students, uh, um, adults that are 18 to 23, it would be families that would go in some kind of exchange in that that manner, and and vice versa. So it would be uh, it would open up a little bit different, and you know maybe we could fine tune it in terms of, of, of having just, um, a week long in you know, a week long in Japan and a week long in in, in Chula Vista rather than having it over a whole month. So, um, but, but I mean, that's just an, uh, w one thing that another group does. Um, the the consulate, the J Japanese consulate, um, they they have a program in Japan in which they have leaders that go over there. So it, it's kind of specifically um, every so often they have this uh, leadership, um, and you apply for this leadership, and then they have um, programs like like uh, like. Commissioner Duran's idea where they have like a week long program set up and what you tour these di different things and you learn about, but their kind of uh, point is to have it in uh, in a leadership. It's just to kind of that's how they kind of framed it up is where it's, uh, um, it's framed as as a leadership program and where you can sh share ideas on, on how you could uh, lead your com uh, your com uh, your company or lead your uh, nonprofit or lead. Um, but it, it's to kind of share the wealth of ideas. So there are ideas that are similar to what, what's out there, uh, what you guys have suggested. So um, maybe we could, uh, if I could find some of those things, I will share them with you or I'll share them with Bill and then Bill could share them out. Okay. And then, um, and then maybe oh, by next meeting, we'll have 
um, another packet of the same ideas, but just kind of maybe more explored. Is that what you're yeah. suggesting? And then, um, yeah, um, and I think something to keep in mind is we just, um, you know, as, as, as much as, you know, there's that uh, desire to, to move ahead with things, um, you know, things take time in a commission setting because we have to allow, you know, the public to have input and so forth. Um, so all those discussions need to, to take place in these these meetings. But um, I mean, I think just the amount of ideas that came out of, you know, compared to starting from nothing last month to, uh, you know, what we've heard a month later is, is pretty incredible. So, um, you know, I think something really amazing is going to come out of this. Okay, and my thoughts are that I, I think that that Odawata may um, may be in the same position as us. I mean, they may be trying to figure out things themselves. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll see what comes out out of this. So, is, is there any more comments to be shared at at, at this time for um, these proposals? These uh, proposals for change of the youth exchange program. Okay, uh, so I guess we'll move on to the. Do uh, the commissioners have any clarifying questions for staff before we go to public comment? Is that where we're at? Okay, so do the commissioners have any clarifying questions for staff before we go to public comment? Okay, um, I I will now call for a two minute pause to allow public to submit any final comments on the item before uh, commission uh, commission deliberation. Commissioners, as a reminder, please refresh the view on your screen to ensure new comments appear. Did we lose Commissioner Akana? Oh. So she rejoins us here. Yeah, it looks like she's might have dropped out. Um, all right, and then I apologize once again that this computer I'm, I'm working from doesn't seem to allow the add in, but I will. Um, I've got the comment. Uh, information shared here, and I'm going to just uh, start the timer manually now. Okay. Commissioner Arcana uh, texted me saying that her internet went down. Bill, can you resend send the link to uh, uh, Commissioner Akana? Yep, I will do that right now. All right, we're at, we're at two minutes here, so we've passed it. Okay, the commenting period for this item is now closed. Uh, have the commissioners had enough time to read the submitted comments? Has there been any comments? If yes, uh, secretary, would you please announce for the record number of comments received in favor or and opposed to the item? I have received no comments via e-comments or via email. Okay. Uh, do the commissioners? Have any uh, comments or questions? 
All right. Um, okay. So there's no motion on on the table, so we don't we're not voting for anything. So the the next item on the agenda is item number three, the update from Cebu subcommittee and approval to spend funds up to six hundred dollars for supplies and postage. Uh, staff recommendation: Commissioner hear the report and approve requested funding for up to six hundred dollars. So um, on the screen, Bill has uh, set up a list of what the cost would be for everything that is being proposed. Is there a location where this will be sent to? So I, I, I'm not sure if the, the subcommittee wants to take the lead on uh, presenting about this. I, I know that uh, Chair Gallardo's is not here, but uh, Commissioner is Akana and uh, the case were on the subcommittee. So if either of you would like to uh, take the lead, uh, feel free. Okay, uh, I don't, I'm sorry if I missed part of the conversation, but I just want to give a little background of what we're doing. This the subcommittee pre COVID, the previous subcommittee planned to donate items to an orphanage or underprivileged school in Cebu. We recognize that there are many underprivileged schools in Cebu and orphanages, and our contributions would be, be impactful to the community. So pre-COVID, we had started to collect tote bags, which was all free. It has the Chula Vista logo on it. And we even collected letters from second grade students uh, saying what they think is really special about Chula Vista, and we wanted to put each letter in, in the bag. And recently, Bill gave us Chula Vista logo mask, which would be nice. So we wanted to put markers, rulers, pins, and everything in there. But just recently, a month ago, we finally contacted the uh, majority city council leader, Raymond Garcia. And he's really excited about reconnecting as a sister uh, city with Chula Vista. So we are requesting money from the funds that we will probably go away at $600. We don't know how much mail, mailing will cost. We cannot use the uh, USPS service because it's very unreliable and we know things might get stolen in the Philippines. So we're requesting a service that they will use. And I just wanna make sure everyone knows that their school starts in June. And I also wanted to ask Bill, can we legally have a Zoom conference with them, the subcommittee? Not with the mayor, but just with their administrative leader? Um, I can look into that and let you know. I'm, I'm don't know 100%. So again, I don't want to give an answer and say, sure, you can do that and find out later, but I, I'll ask and, and find out. Just, just so that we could connect with them since everyone else is, is connecting via Zoom. And that would be with representatives from Cebu City. Excuse me? That would be with representatives from our sister city in yes. Cebu City? Okay. Not not the mayor of Labal, uh, Labalia, just with their city councilor and ad admin. But they are really excited about reconnecting with Chula Vista. Okay. I'll I'll ask about that. I I, I just I don't want to tell you, you know, yes or no and then find out I'm wrong, but one thing I'm good at is asking lots of questions, so I, I don't mind doing that. And Commissioner Goyarda also wants the bags to have uh, STEAM books, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math books that she found on Amazon. And this would really benefit their orphanages and schools. And the, the students who are targeting are third and fourth graders. All right. Um, is it necessary to get the Southwestern College and Boss logo books? Because that's a lot of money spent on notebooks. No, um, I, I don't mind getting something at the dollar store, but I, I wanted to see if the Chola Vista has stuff from uh, business people. You know, promotional items that sometimes they give or pass around because that's how we got the books. The, the totes are from Semper Energy, but they have Chula Vista uh, um, logos on it. Okay. Um, sure. We, we, well, yeah, we could find out 
Um, but the ship, ask because of COVID, shipping takes about one month. So we need to, uh, hopefully okay. we could get the items and ship it before school starts in June. And and they are excite, so excited, they want to do an article in their newspaper about the our uh, International Friendship Commission of Chula Vista. Wow. They're going to okay. market a lot of uh, our our sister city being sister city. Yeah, I, I'm I'm fine with the the, the donation, but I'm uh, kind of curious about this the location of where they're going to be sent. So it's, uh, oh, it's sent to the, uh, the, I have the address. I didn't print it out. It's sent to their office, the mayor's office. Oh, the mayor's office. Okay, right. well, that that's that's more comforting. <laughs> yes. So I feel like I look like a ghost. Who is this? <laughs> My internet so iffy. It's <laughs> I I thought you were in a bar celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Okay. <laughs> this is so weird. Sorry, but it is going to be sent. They have the we have the address of the mayor's office. So th th they're oh. going to really appreciate this and uh, advertise it and market it into the local newspaper and what we're doing to help their orphanage and schools. So I this just is need a really cool. I, 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 I move I move that we approve funding up to six hundred dollars for the project that uh, Commissioner Akana just presented. And I think it's really cool, Nimba. This this sounds really cool. I don't know much about Air Puerto, so we could do that for them sometime. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if they if they have that need need, but I know in Cebu they're really hit hard with COVID and everything and a lot of, it's a different okay. culture there. Uh, Commissioner Connick, this question, is this the first dialogue, is this the first time you've had dialogue with yeah. City in a long time? I think about 15 or 20 years ago, I don't know when, but their mayor came here and then after, there was no more communication after that. They had a new mayor now, so that delayed the connection. We well, we had a, a former commissioner, Gene. Remember, he went to Cebu City. Oh yeah, two years ago. Yeah. And I think he presented a book from the mayor to them. Right. That's the last one I know about. So, so yeah, I could uh, make comments about. It. So I, I mean, I've been on this thing now, fifteen months or so, and this is to me, this, my recollection, this is the first contact we've actually had with them in that period of time. There was a lot of red tape because we thought there was communications congratulating the new mayor, but I think because of what's going on in that country, it got lost. So we reconnected through personal contacts that connected with the mayor's office, and that's how we connected with Councilman Garcia. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, did we have a second on that on that uh, motion? Sure, I'll second it. I'll, I'll second 600 bucks. Go for it. I second it. Okay, now, now just for verification, that's going to be coming out or, or out of the International Friendship Commission's personal fund. Is that the, the fundraising, fundraising amount? Because I think the other one has to be for travel expenses. If if yeah. I understood the way the funding is. Yeah, that's my understanding also. And, and I'll, I'll chime in on that. I actually reached out. I was talking to our, uh, one of our deputy city clerks about this, and um, I don't think there's any restrictions on using the fundraising funds, but I think if we can try to use the other funds, um, I'm going to keep. Um, I had reached out to actually our city attorney's office and the um, finance office, and I didn't hear back, but uh, I'll see if that's a possibility, but otherwise it would be the um, fundraising funds. And what happens to that fundraising funds after July 1? I don't, I don't think the fundraising funds go anywhere. Oh, okay. It's only that it's the $4,000 that's normally um, um, earmarked to our commission that will disappear or that we won't be able to use or that won't yeah. get used. Yeah. But that's why I'm okay, I'll, uh, I'll keep firing because um, as long as you know that you're okay with it being used either way, it, I think ideally it would it'd be nice to use the money that would um, disappear. Um, but if we can't, then it'll be the fundraising funds. So I, I don't know if that changes anybody's, um, you know, their, their, uh, 
move to support it and second it and everything, but you know, just something to to note. It, thank you for the note. It doesn't change my emotion. Doesn't change mine either. Okay. Um, so I'll, I guess I'll call for the question on that. Um, do we have? Are we supposed to wait for the two minute pause first and then call for the call question? Or? Am I still here? Do you see me? Yes. 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 Yeah, I, I've lost all my controls here. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we need to do the two minute and then the. Um, well, uh, I think the commission will need to vote too. Um, okay, okay. So does right. staff have any comments? Yeah. So I'll go and read my script here. Uh, does staff have any comments they'd like to make before we go to public comment and deliberation? Uh, do committee members have any questions for staff? No, uh, I will call now call for a 2 minute pause to allow the public to submit any final comments on. Before deliberation, as a reminder, please refresh the view on your screen to ensure comments new comments appear. And, and once again, in case there's somebody viewing that didn't hear before um, our. The computer is not allowing me to do the timer on screen, so I'm using a, a timer and I'll, I'll note when 2 minutes are up. So I'm going to start now. Okay. All right, we're at two minutes. All right, uh, the commenting period for this item is now closed. Have the commissioners had enough time to read the submitted comments? If yes, uh, will will Bill, will you uh, please announce for the record the number of comments received? I have received no comments via e-comment or email. Um, do any of the commissioners have any comments or questions? So, if not, then we'll go ahead and do a roll call vote. Okay. Uh, so, Commissioner O'Connor? Aye. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Duran? Aye. Uh, Commissioner McCabe? Aye. Uh, Commissioner Moore? Aye. Commissioner Munoz Andrade. Aye. And Commissioner Moroka. Aye. Okay. Uh, of course, we have three three commissioners not here, but uh, everyone voted unanimously aye on it. And we have a quorum, so that that passes through. All right. Thank you. The, uh, the next item on the agenda is item number four. Uh, is there a report for? Uh, from Aeroprato uh, subcommittee.
Unless Commissioner Munoz Andrade has something, I don't have anything to report. Oh, nothing to report. Okay, uh, since there was no, no report, do we still have to go through the two minute thing? Uh, I don't believe so, since there was nothing reported with it. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, um, do any of the commissioners have any comments or questions? All right. All right. The, the next item on the agenda is item number five. It's the report from the Ottawa subcommittee. Um, any report from me? I said, um, I don't have anything to report, but um, yeah, we, we've covered a lot of things from Ottawa and the meeting already. So I, I think a lot of it, a lot of the focus has already been addressed. So. We'll, can we'll, I ask? Can I ask about what the uh, the city has said about the video? Oh, true. I think that's um, that's number the, six. The next item, the virtual celebration. Oh. Yeah, it's almost there. Okay. All right. All right. So, we'll, uh, since there's no comment, um, no report on that, the commenting for this period uh, for the commenting. Well, we'll move on. Yeah. Uh, do any of the yeah. commissioners have any comments or questions? Okay, the next item on the agenda is item number six. Uh, it's the report from virtual celebration subcommittee. Uh, staff recommendations the, is, is the commission to hear the report. Uh, does anybody have a presentation for that? Is there any new information from the city on, on what's going on with the uh, the virtual the video for the virtual celebration i i don't have any information to share other than i know that the you know communications department had met with the subcommittee and is is working with them but i don't have the the details from that all right uh can um can we, is it possible um to share some emails so then uh we could uh, of the of the uh, that that um that thing in that in the city so then we could um email them um uh, who was the person that the contact person that we we were supposed to stay in contact with, with oh um adriana or was it olga from the communication oh, olga. Yeah. <laughs> okay do you think you could send me that um her email address and then um we'll yeah. see start kind of chugging along with that yep. at least for the next Okay, so since there's no presentation on that, then we'll skip the two minutes on that one as well. I, I think that's okay. And uh, yeah, I, there was no presentation. And I'll just make sure there's no e comments. Okay, so there, if there any, uh, do any of the commissioners have any comments or questions about item number? Um, well, sure. item number six. Okay, if not, then uh, the next item is item number seven that's uh, staff comments. Do you All right. Comments? Just got a, a few few comments for you. Uh, the first one is I actually need to share a cute image uh, real quick here. Um, so our city clerk's office is asking for input um, for city council and commission agendas to make them more accessible. Um, so they're asking for anyone to take a um, both you know members of the commissions but also members of the public to take a quick survey. Uh, if you're tech savvy, you can even use your phone and uh, open your camera app and point it at this um, circle. Are, are, you, are you seeing this on the screen? The, the dog? Yeah. yeah. So that'll take you to the survey, but there's also a survey monkey link. Um, I'll just go ahead and read it aloud in case somebody happens to be listening. It's www.surveymonkey.com slash R slash SK 3K XNX. So this is uh, it's supposed to be a pretty quick survey. That dog is adorable. Uh, you know, a, a dog will be very happy if you take the survey. So, so give us a hand with that. Uh, another thing I was going to mention is uh, thank you. I got um, a couple of the uh, commissioners sent me their their bios and their um, their photos, which I, I provided the city clerk to put on our um, international friendship commission website, but. There's still time, so please, anybody, uh, if you would like, send me your photo and your your bio, and um, I'll make sure that gets put up on the website when all the other uh, ones go up. Um, I can send out a reminder about that too. 
Um, but it's just nice, I think, for uh, you know people to say, oh, this is the the amazing group that's that's working on this. So uh, you know, but thank you. Uh, I know I received a couple of them, and it was also just really fun for me to like you know read people's information and uh, yeah, it's it's really neat. Um, and then the other thing I was just going to say is um, just I appreciate all of your patience. Um, a lot of my answers I know are I will check and get back to you. Um, and one thing to just keep in mind is, you know, things do move fairly slow when it comes to work like this, because we have to make sure we're in accordance with the Brown Act and we give the public opportunity to comment on things. And so we can't really have, you know, discussions outside of the commission meetings beyond, you know, things like subcommittees and so forth. But um, this is just a really great group and I appreciate all of your patience with me as I'm learning this and especially this month as I have taken on uh, Alicia's duties, which she made seem so easy and they are not. So <laughs> it's been uh, it's been an adventure getting ready for this, but uh, just thank you to everybody for, for helping me through this. Yeah, well, well, thank you, Phil. All you, uh, yeah, we appreciate all your, well, your support and all your, your guidance and, and all you do. Thank you. Thank you. And, and that's it for staff comments. All right. Um, okay. So the, the next item on the agenda is item number eight. Um, chair comments. That would be me. Uh, one of the one of the difficult things uh, I've talked to the the San Diego uh, Yokohama sister city um, president, and one of the, you know one of the problems that that we have uh, that the sister cities are having um, just all all around is just the that this connection that we're trying to make with with another city. And so, you know, some of the, the views that we had, some of these ide ideas are, are great ideas to, to open up that avenue, but that's always a, a question as everything moves forward, um, you know, as communications has already opened up, we're able to communicate directly to whomever we want just about. You could go on the internet and find businesses in Japan. You could find schools in Japan. You could find, you know, all these different things all over the all over the globe in Cebu City and Arapato. So, um, it, it's it, to create that more friendly connection, I think, is is important. And I think that's what our job is to do is to try to to create that that more personal connection rather than what you might be able to find on the Internet. So, um, and that's really hard to do. So I'm glad that everybody's um, we have everybody's support to to you know, revisit some of these ideas or to to um, create new ideas. So that's it's great to see from this this commission. So that and. And thank you, Bill, for all, um, all keeping everybody in line and everybody together on that on this. So it's nice that you send out uh, emails in between meetings and keep keep us on task and everything. So thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, the next item on the agenda is item number nine, which is the commissioners and board members' comments. Do the commissioners have any comments? I do. Um, I wrote a little summary here, and I don't know how timely it is appropriate, but I want to address this uh, email, extensive email was sent out by this Ramon uh, Rizago, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, regarding the desire for uh, a, a city in Spain between Sevilla and Cordoba to become a sister city of, of Chula Vista. Now, I don't know how long, long ago that was, but they seem pretty motivated to create a relationship with us. And I, I say this in context that, and I asked this earlier of uh, Commissioner O'Connor, that I mean, I've been here a year and three months or four months now, and in that time, the we've had no dialogue with either Air Puerto or Cebu City. And uh, and I now we do with with Commissioner O'Connor, so I, that's that's good news. But I just keep wondering if, like in the case of Air Plato, I mean, are we expending a lot of effort to try to do something or not do something when we have a new potential partner out there that is much more motivated, so we could be more engaged? I I just I just on a, I wonder if we need to uh, rethink this. You know, we're constantly month after month after month just talking about, you know, a uh, couple of cities that we really don't have much involvement with. And that's that's kind of where my comment letter or note was coming from. 
All right. Um, as we talk in that regard. Well, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure how how the um, both either Cebu City or Arapato uh, where we kind of land in their city. I, I'm, I'm not sure if they have a commission. Do you, uh, do you know, uh, Commissioner Arcana, how they they may run it, or is everything just run out of their mayor's office? I mean, do they uh, hand us off? Because over in in Japan, there is the OIFA, which is the Odawada International Friendship Association. Is that right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's outside of uh, well. It's probably supported by the city, but it's out it kind of um, maybe a, a counterpart to ours. In Chula Vista, we used to have the Friends of Odawada, which is um, mm -hmm. sort of defunct, but um, uh, anyways, but uh, so we had a, a similar, um, an outside organization outside of the city, plus we have the International Friendship Commission as well. But uh, does, do you know, uh, Commissioner Akana, if there's any counterparts um, like o OIFA um, in. Uh, I, I do not, but I think they're there. I don't know the hierarchies or the political positions there, but we would be dealing with the, something called tourism. Which is part of the mayor's office, and I think there was a delay of this because we they have a new mayor like over a year and a half ago. So we are waiting for. A congratul uh, congratulations from our mayor to their mayor and back and forth, but I think everything was lost during COVID. Yeah, um, so it's good that we have a connection with Cebu City. It would be nice, it would be great if we could um, have maybe a, a timeline for Aeroprato. Is that possible? Um, maybe uh, we could uh, say maybe in the next, what would you say, uh, Commissioner Moore? How much time would you like I, to? I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I looked it up. Air Puerto has got uh, some long term relationships with uh, other cities already. Uh, three other cities, I believe it. I believe they have already. And I just don't know if we're just the uh, just uh, just, uh, you know. A little bit of an afterthought, if you will, I, I and, uh, you know, it say the city also has got long term relationships with Honolulu and other. I looked, I looked them up and they're still still active. I just. I just don't know if 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 we continue just you know you know pursuing something that versus us seeking out somebody else and seeing if there's a reengagement with somebody that's much more motivated to participate in a in a a, a, a sister city relationship. I, I time frame wise, I don't know. Maybe maybe Miguel can have has some some thought on that. I don't. I I'm not really. Uh, I don't have an idea regarding a time frame. But I just wonder if it's time to 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 rethink this. Yeah, yeah, I like I said, I remember when this first came up. I thought it was, I was very supportive of, um, at least exploring establishing a sister city with um, with that city in Spain. Um, I still am, you know, if 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 it's something that the commission and the mayor's office is open to, I think. It it would be awesome to have that relationship start up. I agree with you that they seem way more motivated than our current sister cities. My recollection in NIMPUC and keep me honest is that at the point where it was first brought up, the mayor's office didn't want to establish any new uh, sister city, which which was unfortunate. And it's that kind of took it because that it, those are formed, I think, mayor to mayor. Is that decision based on the uh, what Mayor Salas wants built? Because there was talk also of having Sister City in Russia. When I uh, reached out and um, got information from the mayor's office after our last meeting, um, I inquired about the possibility of exploring new sister cities and um, was was informed that at this time that's not something we're we're looking to explore. So I think, you know, it, maybe if you know after the the efforts of uh, the subcommittees. Depending on how they pan out, that might give us a chance to revisit it. But for now, I think the effort is let's let's try to see what we can do with these three sister cities, and then um, you know if it, that doesn't work, then maybe we can revisit it. Well, Bill, that's what I was going to ask uh, when you when you uh, 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 couch your statement to her. She she did Mary say that she didn't want to really want to add a fourth or a fifth, uh, but how about did you talk to her about a replacement? Um, so I. I communicated with her, not with her directly, but through um, her, her assistant. 
Um, so I'll reach out again and and kind of you know say that this was brought up. Um, but what I said is you know there, I shared the, um, the the comment we received from um, the public comment last month and commission's um, kind of input on that and was just basically told that at this time we're not exploring um, new sister cities. But I'll I'll see what other information I can get and uh, get back to the commission about that. Very well. Okay, is there a way that we could reaffirm our relationships with those uh, two other um, other cities? Um, maybe we could get to that point where uh, we get a reaffirmation of our of the commitment to the the sister cities in the next six months or so, or maybe before year's end. And so that gives us kind of a, um, a guideline in which. Well, uh, if we're not going to reaffirm these new these cities, then maybe we should maybe we do need to revisit um, another city or um, address another um, have a replacement, like uh, Commissioner Moore had mentioned. Um, uh, just an affirmation of that, I think, is is not too much to ask for for two mayors to say, "Oh, y yes, I mean, you know, we're 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 on board with this," and that's that's would isn't to me isn't too much to ask for. So, would you like a formal letter from um, Mayor how do you say, Le Lebalia, saying yeah, that well, you want to affirm? Is, sure. I don't know what your definition of reaffirm. Well, I mean, the the, the Chula Vista and Otomata reaffirm theirs every five years, and so just something along that that line. I don't know what the document looks like, but um, uh, something along those lines that they do for Otomata. And. Oh. Whenever the trip to Irapuato was, the 2007, 2008, um, the mayor's the sister's relationship between us and Irapuato. And it was Mayor Salas, and it was, I forget his name, but it's the current still mayor of Irapuato also. Hmm. Miguel, that was 13 so, years ago? No, no. Uh, no. I, I'm sorry, it was 2018, 2017. Oh. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll have problems getting a letter to reaffirm our relationship. It's, you know, so I, I, it, the one, when I, in Irapuato, when, uh, when they did that, like, three years ago, not 13, um, <laughs> it, it was kind of like a ceremonial thing where they, like, stood in front of everyone, like, a theater, and everybody clapped, and then we had, like, you know, the little after ceremony thing. Uh, I, I think, and I think we do it a while, like whenever they come and visit, we do like a little um, public reaffirmation, right? It, I, I don't know if, if our mayor or their mayor is going to be like, oh, fine, let's just do a DocuSign thing to reaffirm it. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe we could do it. Maybe they could possibly do it at a council meeting of some sort and vice versa. And, you know, we could send each one over during this, you know, during how things are right now, because I don't know if we, ha I don't think we have any planned visits in the near future. So, but something along those lines might, um, maybe Bill, if you could pass that along to uh, Mayor Salas and Mayor Salas and find out. Yep, I'll reach out to her, her office. Should I request a one minute video from the Mayor of Cebu just to reaffirm? Uh. Let me let me ask the our, our mayor's office first, and then um, kind of see, you know, if that. I mean, it sounds great, but I, let me just make sure that, you know, just because I don't want them to be, um, you know, have have a video show up and have no idea that it's coming or anything. So let me let me kind of communicate that first. Yeah. And maybe just communicate well, for for uh, us just uh, the, the desire to reaffirm the relationship at one point. Okay. Well, I'm already receiving emails from the Councillor Garcia from the office of Mayor Basu saying that he's excited to reconnect with us. I just feel like they've never received any communication from us, but we've been requesting that for the last year. Yeah, I think the challenge with both Cebu and Irapuato is that because they are so tied to political office, they don't have an independent commission like we do or like OIFA is. Um, we, it sounds like you're already starting a great relationship with this mayor and, you know, best case scenario, we continue this relationship. And then when he's out of office, all our contacts go out of office with them. And yeah. 
that's how that's how it is with Cebu. Once one's gone, everybody leaves, and nobody has records of what happened before. Right, and that's how it works in Mexico. Also, like the whole administration just goes with them. Okay. All right. So you know, um, maybe a timeline of by next October, perhaps just to kind of get some idea of what, what direction we're going to go with the affirmations on that. And so I guess that might start off with with Bill and also kind of um, getting uh, communications with each of the cities. So it sounds like Cebu is already established. So it'll be just our Prato that needs to have some kind of communications established as well. Okay. Any other comments from the commissioners or, or board members? All right. Um, going once, going twice. Okay. Um, so do um, if they if there's no comments from the commissioners. Um, so I will adjourn this meeting at. 7:45 p.m. Um, to the regular uh, to the next regular meeting of the International Friendship Commission on April 21st, 2021, via teleconference via uh, WebEx. So, all right, yeah. Thank you for uh, spending the evening, spending St. Patty's Day with us today. <laughs> Hope you guys you know, drink some green beer before uh, the night's out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Good night. Thank you, Commissioner Morocco. Thank you, Bill. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Thank you.